Dear friends, today I am here with the another new computer topic, system software, that is operating system. Many types of operating system we have seen in the computer and the mobile. I am going to discuss about those operating system. This is the first part of the video. The first thing is software. Software is a collection of instruction that tells the computer what to do. Can't do anything with hardware without software. Means it is a collection of instructions, it is a collection of programs which perform a specific task. It gives the instructions to the computer. Then after computer will do accordingly. As you all know that computer having two main parts, software and hardware. If hardware will not there, computer will not work. And if software will not there, then hardware will not able to do any work. So, software is very essential part of the computer system. System software. That is operating system. Which controls hardware, processor, memory and device. Provide means of software to work with the CPU responsible for management, scheduling and in traction of task. Provide user interface. Means system software consists of two primary types of program. The operating system and the utility program. The operating system is the main program that controls how your computer system function right the os manages the computer's hardware in juggling the processor means utilizing the processor memory and storage devices as well as peripheral devices that is the hardware connected with them external or internal the operating system also provides a consistent means of software application to work with the CPU. Additionally, it is responsible for the management scheduling and instruction of task. Your first interaction with the OS is the user interface. As in the system software, the computer system will start with the working with the OS and it controls the additional CPU functions which task will perform by them. Right? Next is that system software utilities. What are the utilities of system software? It controls computer function. It controls computer function. Utilities program that perform computer housekeeping tasks means internal task can be performed by the system software. Manages it manages system resources. What are the hardware or software connected with them, it will manage. Improve efficiency. That system software utilities were responsible for responsible for their improve efficiency means making the space in the computer system by this defragmentation, virus detection, etc. etc. <coughs> Operating system Categorized as 
four main categories depends on their utilize, utilization and their performance real time operating system single user single task operating system single user multitasking operating system and multi user operating system now first one is that real time operating system system with a specific purpose and a certain result means a special type of work has been used you have seen in the car where automated driver will be there that is operated by the operating system a special operating system which can run the machine based on the real time operating system uses includes industrial machines robotic device automobiles video games console and home appliances nowadays we have seen in these devices where a specific software will be there that is another operating system and that is categorized under the real time operating system in that one machinery that perform a repetitive series of a specific tasks in an exact amount of time required a real time operating system machine where use the exact time a specific time and accordingly that a specific time they will perform the task this type of operating system is a program with a specific purpose a special type of purpose where they are used to perform this task for example instruments such as those found in the scientific or defense or and aerospace industries that must perform regimented task or record precise precise result required real time operating system you have seen in the satellite launching or rocket launching or missile launching they are based on targets hit the target recently you have seen in the different scenario which is conducted by the america or india or other countries which can lock the target and then launch that missile and they will hit the target by the accuracy of 99.99% correction that is done with the real time operating system real time operating system are also found in many types of robotic devices full fuel injection system in car engines video game consoles and home appliances like fridge like washing machine when the work has been done automatically it will be switched off that is a real based real time exact time accordingly they will execute real time operating system required minimal user in interaction it is very important i am again telling you that real time operating system requires minimal user interaction means less time required to interact with the system when the real time operating system is installed in your computer system very small instruction you can give and accordingly they will process all the data making the output and after that they will give you the result means no need to every time you can operate that real time operating system the program are written specifically to the needs of the devices and their functions therefore there are no commercially available standard rtos software program means we cannot categorized standardly means these are the minimum features these are the functions under the real time operating system it is based on the consumer or customer requirement right the next one is multi user operating system in the multi user operating system they are categorized in two category single task system and multi task system under the single user operating system there are of two types single task system and multi task system in single task system 
only only they can perform a single task at a time like pocket pc palm os palm top operating system window mobile ms dos right these are the single task operating system single user single task operating system while the multi tasking operating system under the single user that is window mac os linux etc now let us try to understand what is single user single tasking operating system and what is single user multitasking operating system in single user single tasking operating system at a time single user can perform a single task at a time right means one user can perform only one task at a time is called single user single tasking operating system the famous one is ms dos and in case of single user multitasking means more than one task can perform by the user at a time that is a single user at a time in dos when you are doing on the mobile or in the computer whenever you are doing a single task at a time that is called single user single task and whenever you are doing more than one task at a time then that is called single user multitasking operating system okay whenever you are typing that you are typing not able to do other task that is single tasking single user next one is whenever you are listening as well as typing then that is called single user multitasking all computer on which one user perform just one task at a time required that is single user single task operating system while in case of more than one task performed by the single user is known as single user multitasking operating system now next next one is multi user operating system multi user operating systems also known as a network operating system we can we are we can say that enables more than one user to access the computer system at one item or single item at a time by efficiently juggling all the requires for multiple users means more than one user can access the same task at the same time is known as multi user operating system in that operating system you can manage the users means you can give the permissions to how many users can access that computer system networks are required in this op this operating system because many users access the server computer at the same time and share resources a network operating system is installed on the server and manages all users required ensuring that they do not interface with each other they are doing the separate task separately but using the single application that is a single software different example of multiple user operating systems are linux unix unicos windows server 2008 windows vista mac os i5 os zero os these are the different multi user operating system and the popular are linux unix and windows server all of them are run separately as well as whenever you need to be run in a networking then you can use this one because this one will work very good very nicely the next is desktop and notepad or notebook operating system an operating system combines with a processor is known as platform means operating system where 
definitely work with the help of processor and when they will work with the processor access the processor then that is called platform and those platform are available in the market as Microsoft Windows with the Intel and Apple Macintosh with Motorola these are the combination with the platform Microsoft will work with on Intel Apple will work on Motorola platform <coughs> desktop and notebook operating systems are using normally Microsoft Windows Macintosh operating system Linux and Unix when I'm talking about the Windows operating system then it is designed to coordinate with series of processor from Intel Corporation or AMD that is advanced micro device that share the same or similar set of instruction until recently Apple Macintosh operating systems work primarily with the processor from Motorola and IBM design is specifically for Apple computer. Apple has recently adopted the Intel processor. Normally, Apple operating system will work on Motorola or IBM inbuilt processor platform. But recently, it is also based on Intel platform. Now the next one is Microsoft Windows operating system. This version of operating system <coughs> which works on graphical capability, GUI, graphical user interface where graphical works designing can perform nicely with the various versions that is such as Windows 98, Windows NT, Windows XP, Millennium, Windows 2000, Windows Vista, Windows 7, 8 and then Windows 10 now it is recently going on. Windows come under development soon after the Apple Macintosh introduced the graphical user interface in 1984 when it was started that is Apple Macintosh operating system will start the graphic user interface then after the Microsoft will work on that and they will work very hard and introduce more and newer version with the more user friendly operating system with them so that's why you have seen the windows operating system version of windows operating system are coming in market regularly while macintosh operating system are not coming regularly an important thing also windows is more popular because it run on the platform different platform but macintosh operating system were not run on many platform recently it has been adopted that so they will work on the intel processor also thank you thanks for watching my video